Like, what was it fucking for? You know, Mm -hmm. if I'm still going to feel like this, like what was sobriety for? What was working my ass off for? What was buying the house for if I'm still going to feel the same as I did? And that's not like, you know, that was a moment. Um, I don't feel that way. Right. I'm pretty happy, like all the time. Yeah. But like the, the sadness that came with this like event on top of everything else was just like, I was just so fucking apathetic, I guess. Mm-hmm. And and they say like the day of the disease never fucking stops doing push ups or shit. Yeah. And like I really never thought, and you probably get this, I never thought that I was gonna like fall for this like cliche shit that people yeah. relapse over. And I totally fucking did. Yeah. Like I really somehow convinced myself that I was going to do drugs normally. Yeah. Like I was like, I'm, I have money now. I was homeless before. Yeah. A lot of my problems came from that. I didn't have any money. Yeah. So I'm like doing all this crazy shit to get drugs and committing crimes and like, and never hooked, but like just doing shit I wasn't very proud of. Right. Um, and I was like, I could just go buy them and then like do them in my sweet house. Like I'm not going to get arrested, like doing drugs on the street. Like right. I have a home. Like I really convinced myself this cliche shit yeah. that like and and what scared me is that I wasn't I was completely calm when I relapsed like I always imagined that if it happened it would be like fuck this, this like moment, some emotional like chaos, no yeah. and I was totally calm my palms didn't get sweaty like my heart rate didn't increase I just fucking made this decision and, and like threw my whole life in the trash and that terrified me mm-hmm. uh, I got I only got high for three days and uh, James Dean is the reason I stopped getting yeah. high. Like he just happens to walk in on like these like moments for me. Wow. Um, uh, but really, you know, it was like I, I relapsing was the most heartbreaking thing I ever did. And it wasn't because I threw out my time. It was because like, I realized I don't have anywhere else to go. Mm-hmm. I don't like drugs anymore. I didn't like the way that I felt. It was not a solution. Um, I, I had convinced myself over that seven years that like, if everything really sucks bad enough, I can always go back to this. Yeah. And then like, it wasn't at all. Yeah. Not at all. I it was like, it didn't feel. No, it just made me fucking feel worse. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, this is dog shit. Like, I'm actually gonna have to learn how to live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm actually gonna have to accept that, like, there isn't a way out, and I have to just be present and learn how to tolerate life. Yeah. Uh, which sounds like such a childish thing to no, say. Oh my god, I can't tell you how much <laughs> that makes sense to me. Uh, like, so much sense. Yeah. What I mean. It sucks when you can't escape it. It's like, yeah. why do I have to deal with this? Like, yeah. why can't I escape this? And like some, like some childish part of me is like, why can't I just have been given like the basic cards that everybody else got, mm. you know, and not like a pity me thing, but like I wasn't dealt a very good hand. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I supplied myself with some worse cards. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of it was choices. A lot of it was bred into me, but yeah. like sometimes like, dude, this is fucking hard. Like I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Um, and like my options are, Go be homeless um, or or keep trying. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.